Hello kittens! Silver here, and today I'm going to be doing a collection video of my Stife cats, which will be quite an undertaking since there are quite a few of them. But I wanted to kick things off with the smallest kitten in my collection. This is Mimi. And although she's the smallest, she looms very large in my heart because she was a gift from my best friend Trickster. So she's an orange tabby kitten, as you can probably tell. She measures about 9 inches in length from front to back, with the tail adding a few extra inches. She has these cute little white tipped paws and a sort of pink felt fabric underneath where her paw pads are. And you see that same pink fabric on the inside of her ears. Uh, she has these beautiful emerald green eyes that are outlined with some beautiful airbrush markings and they have sort of a uh, sort of a lash detail to them. And a very cute little pink threaded nose and a black threaded mouth. Lovely pale orangey cream colored coat um, with some nice orange striping on the top there as you can see and she has her Stife original Mimi tag on her chest and a yellow button and ear tag which means that she wasn't a limited edition so I think she may still be available as of the current time so if you like her I would definitely grab her she's definitely a cutie moving up in size we have princess the persian cat this would be the first version of princess there are two of them um, so this one is an all over white cat she's got a beautiful coat with a very very sort of delicate sort of almost diaphanous material very long hair um, she's about 12 inches from front to back and again that tail of hers adds some extra length to her she's got a very very gorgeous set of beautiful blue eyes there's just this sort of cobalt or azure blue and you see that lovely lash detail once again she has sort of long tufts on her ears but if you look past you can see that little pink fabric just on the inside which is also on the bottoms of her feet she's also very beanie she's got a lot of beans in her midsection which makes her very pleasantly floppy um, and she also has that pink fabric on her nose with a little bit of airbrush marking there just to denote the nostrils and a sweet little smile and a very very pale light pink uh, airbrushing just around her mouth which you can faintly see and she also has the uh, yellow button and ear tag so she wasn't limited but she is retired so she is more difficult to find right now next up we have the second version of princess who was released more recently i believe it was the beginning of 2021 if i'm not mistaken so she should still be available at the current time a very different coloration than the previous princess as you can see she's got sort of a strawberry blonde hair mixed with the white she has these very long tufts of hair on either side of her face there and she's also extremely floppy even more so than i thought she's kind of slightly posed compared to the other princess the other one sort of looks straight ahead whereas uh, she looks slightly to the side but she's got these beautiful emerald green eyes much like mimi's and a sort of more pronounced mouth than the first princess and you see also that sort of rosy pink coloring right there and she also has the pink fabric on the inside of the ears and on her paws and she was not a limited edition so she has her yellow button and ear tag so that's princess version 2.0 next up we have minu the british blue cat and this one is an all over gray as you can tell but he also does have airbrush markings on his forehead also on the rims of his ears above his nose and underneath his mouth and he's got these really cool bluish gray whiskers that are made from a sort of yarny material which is really nice since they don't sort of crimp and distort the way that plastic whiskers often do on plush he was a limited edition as you can see here on his little chest tag so he has the white button and ear tag and it also shows his production year on this so he was produced in the year 2008 and there were 2008 stock of him at the time coincidentally and he was number 98 on the production line and by far the most striking feature of Minu is his eyes they are very very luminous very piercing a very sort of rich yellow orange color and again you get that airbrush detail around the perimeter of the eye and he's got a very uniquely um, sculpted nose so it's sort of like a velvety material sort of a almost reminiscent of suede I'm not sure what that is but he also has that material underneath uh, his paws right here and he has air airbrushed paw prints which is uh, definitely a unique feature of his they're done in a black coloring and he is very generously stuffed with beans in his backside he's got a very thick realistic feeling fur 
very long tail. I'd say he's probably uh, maybe around 14 inches or so, um, but the, the legs probably add a little bit of extra length as well. Um, and he's quite floppy. His legs in particular are very dangly. So that would be Minu. Next up, we have Lizzie, the Maine Coon Cat. And this one has such a, a variety and diversity of different colors and textures going on. We see um, some whites, some coppers, different grays. There's a lot of airbrushing on Lizzie, um, not just on her body, but also on her face. As you can tell, um, she has lots of whisker follicles. That same sort of a specially hand-folded nose, that same sort of material we saw on Minou. And she's got this um, set of golden coppery eyes that are outlined in that black airbrush marking. And she also has the same type of paw pads we saw pr uh, previously. They are also airbrushed in a very sort of dark, uh, looks like very, very dark brown coloring. And she also has the little claw marks. That same material is used on the inside of her ears. And she was also a limited edition. So she was produced in the year, let's see, that was 2008, it says. And she was uh, one of 3,000, so she was number 2,710. So she was further down the line, um, but very, very beautiful detailing. She's probably, I'd say, about 14 inches or so, um, but her sort of long, very bushy tail definitely adds um, a lot of extra length to her. Um, she also has lots of beans in her midsection, very thick, high-quality fur, and she's actually quite floppy as well. You can probably tell from, from her dangly legs here. And then there was the uh, companion to Lizzie, which would be Mizzy the Maine Coon. She is the, uh, the orange tabby Maine Coon. So as you can see, very, very similar design. Just a little bit different coloring. Well, actually, a very different coloring. Um, on Mizzy, you see these copper colors, these russets, ginger, some cream. Um, really, really gorgeous cat. And you guys may know I do have an affinity for ginger cats, so <laughs> Mizzy definitely resonated with me. She has the same type of eyes as Lizzie, same coppery gold color. And she does actually have the yarn whiskers where Lizzie doesn't. And hers are sort of a very light cream color that complement her coat very well. Same little hand-folded nose. And she also was a limited edition, so according to her tag, she was produced in 2009. There were 3,000 stock at the time, and she was number 147. And she has the same sort of quality fur as Lizzie. Same type of beans um, right in the midsection. And same level of floppiness. So those are my two complimentary Maine Coon cats. Next up, we have Minka, the Sacred Berman cat, who is one of my earlier acquisitions. This is definitely one of my favorite cats. She has the most enchanting set of blue eyes. Um, she is a sort of white or maybe even off-white coloring with this long gray tail, which is um, not very, uh, not really stuffed at all. It's kind of on the flatter side, but um, still really nice. And she has, again, the hand-folded uh, nose and the whiskers in white. And she also has a lot of airbrushing on her face. You see um, these dark gray markings. And she also has some down her back in this sort of coppery amber color. And that kind of extends all the way to the top of her head. And is kind of around the ruff here on her collar. And she also has very interesting uh, paw pad details. They're also airbrushed, but they're done using a sort of pink coloring with a gray outline. And she, yeah, you can probably hear all the beans in her feet. Very, very beany. And there are also some beans in her midsection, which makes her nice and floppy as well. So that's Minka. She was uh, a limited edition as well. She was produced in the year 2011. Uh, she was number 33 out of 2,000 pieces. Next up, we have Agnetha. She was a portrait plush who was created uh, for and I guess by uh, Leslie Ann Ivory, who is a painter who is very famous for painting cats. And Agnetha was based on a real life cat that she owned. Um, so this is really like an artistic rendering of Agnetha. And she really is just absolutely beautiful, uh, unlike any other cat that I've ever seen. So she was also a limited edition. She was produced in the year 2019, and this one was number 216 out of 1,000 pieces that were made. 
She has these beautiful coppery hazel eyes. So much airbrushing and such unique and intricate patterns on her face. And um, she has such a variety of colors in her coat as well. She has these coppers, these creams, there's some darker browns, just a huge, huge array. And probably one of my favorite features of hers is the machine embroidered paw pads. And you get that little, um, those little claw details as well, which actually almost complement the colors on her, or the airbrush markings on her face. It almost kind of reminds me of the rays of the sun. Really beautiful. She has a pink plastic nose and a little pink airbrushing underneath her mouth. And also the white whiskers and sort of the longer tufts that sort of fringe her face and just underneath her collar as well. So much detail on this plush. And again, super floppy, um, pretty lightweight. Well, actually she does have some weight to her. She, she also has those, uh, those nice beans in her backside. And again, very long and full tail. Really gorgeous plush, so that's Agnetha. Next up we have this big softy. This is Nori, the Norwegian forest cat. And this is definitely one of my favorite black and white cat plushies ever, if not my absolute favorite. Um, so he's a very big guy. He's probably about mm, 20, or so, 20 inches or so. Um, and again, the tail, <laughs> the tail definitely um, gives him some extra length. The fur is so very, very soft. He's got so much squish factor to him. Um, he actually, I think he was, let me see where his tag is. Yeah, it says best for kids. So I think he was made um, particularly to be cuddled and hugged. Um, and he has those wonderful machine embroidered paw pads again in sort of a dark chocolate brown or almost mocha color. And he wasn't limited, but he is retired. So again, difficult to find. He has lovely emerald green eyes. And he has a, uh, a fabric nose with some machine embroidered nostrils, which is um, quite, quite unique for a cat plush. And then he has a sweet little smile here. He's very, very, whoop, very, very fluffy, um, very, very full mane. So that's, uh, that's Nori, one of my absolute favorites. Next up, we have Pharaoh, who I believe is a Maine Coon. She looks very much like a, a Maine Coon to me. Um, and she's basically exactly the same construction as Nori, same size, um, same general pattern overall, but um, very different coloring, as you can see. Uh, she's, again, that sort of like 20 inch size or so with a very, very long cream tipped tail. She has a wide array of colors, much like Agnetha's actually, um, maybe a little bit more light cream in her coat. Um, and again, she has those wonderful <laughs> paw pad details. She was also one of the best for kids plush, so very, very huggable and soft. Um, she was not, a, yes, she wasn't a limited edition. She has the yellow tag. She also has the same or almost identical uh, green eyes to Nori and the same type of nose. It's that fabric nose with the machine embroidered nostrils and the cute little smile. So that would be Faro. And last but certainly not least is Choupette, the sacred Burman cat, who is based on the real life cat of the, uh, the late Karl Lagerfeld, who was a German designer, I believe. This cat is one of my all-time favorite plush, just full stop. She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, she is made from a really, really soft material, this lovely white coloring. She has the white tip paws, and you see these sort of, um, sort of a, I'm not sure what color you would call that, sort of like a slightly ginger colored um, airbrush detail. You see the, those markings on her face as well, and she has just the sweetest little smile ever. Um, she has a plastic nose, which is also sort of airbrushed, so it's a little darker at the top. And she has the yarny whiskers, beautiful blue eyes with the lashes on either side. Very, very long haired. I do love long haired cats. Um, and she has this really nice airbrush detailing on the backs of her ears as well. And her, uh, her tail is that lovely strawberry blonde color. And she also has beans in her midsection and is quite floppy. So she's absolutely one of my favorite cats, one of the jewels of my collection. She is my queen. Um, so there is her Choupette limited edition uh, chest tag. And here is her 
white ear tag. So she was made in the year 2017 and she was number 560 of 2000 pieces. So that was my entire set of Stife Cats. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it ran a little bit long. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye everybody.